Welcome, this is Solopreneur Success Strategies, where we talk about mindset, your website, your brand, your social media marketing, your customers, how to sell to your customers, how to, how to find your customers, how to talk about the skills and knowledge you need in your business, and free software and tools to help you save time, money, and be more productive, as well as strategy and systems, here on Solopreneur Success Strategies. Welcome. Today is System Saturday. I'm looking rather casual today because I do have a little thing to tell you. And I'm just going to repeat that I am Jane Gardner, Solopreneur Success Strategies, and it's System Saturday today. I am looking a little casual for those on video because I was busy listening to uh, Joel Calm uh, talking about the death of blab.im, which closed down today. And for everybody here, I just wanted to give you an idea that this is a very important lesson about um, being flexible in your business. It Blab.im is a live streaming um, uh, software uh, platform that was created about a year ago, and everybody was having a lot of fun on it. Um, you could go in there and just talk for hours with other people. Um, a lot of people started up um, shows, which they talked about their business. And in fact, I had it as an idea for my show as well to do some trainings there. I didn't like some of the features of it uh, recently, so I never got around to go going on there. But <clears throat> all of a sudden uh, today, it was closed because the owner wants to do something different. So there is a lot of people who have videos or recordings of their shows who may be uh, up on Blab that they can't download because it closed suddenly. <coughs> so for System Saturday, this is an important lesson because it tells you that you should always have systems in your business where you're making sure that all your assets are in your archives available to you only as well as spreading them out on other places. For example, these YouTube are on YouTube, but I certainly do download um, each show and uh, archive them, as I will be using them for assets in my business. So just so everyone knows, uh, don't count on one platform um, yeah, that is not yours, because most of these aren't yours, and they can be bought out. Um, they can just um, get no funding. I think closed again somebody closed recently um, because they had no funding etc etc so always have systems in your business that are helping you in your business so let's get on with the show today we're going to be talking about email systems just for a little bit more and I may do another demo next week on campaigns because today we're going to be talking about segmentation of your email lists and um, but for right now, let's uh, introduce myself again as to who I am. I'm Jane Gardner. I work with my husband for the last 20 years in a structural engineering firm and still am in Western Canada. So it's been a long day <laughs> working, but I come on and I do this show and I make a recording and I have uh two or three ways for me to make the recordings. So at any time, uh, I am able to be flexible in my business and make sure I don't lose any of my assets. So that's my that's my uh, tip for today. Remember, these are your assets, so make sure you're saving them into a place that's for you only. So one System Saturday is part of a series for Solopreneur Success Strategies, and on Monday, it's Mindset Monday. Tuesday is all about um, getting your message out on Get Your Message Out Tuesday. Wednesday is about your customer and you. Thursday is about getting the skills and knowledge as an entrepreneur. Friday is all about Freebie Friday. Saturday is all about, of course, systems put in your business, and I'll tell you why in a minute. And Sunday is all about strategy for your business. So System Saturday, I designed it so that it was about 
um, putting together systems in your business because you always want to be making money instead of making work for yourself in your business. So if you put systems and automation into your business, um, you have the time freed up for you, for yourself and your family. But as well, you have the time to build your business by working on it rather than working in it. So if you can put marketing systems on automatic or your email system on automatic, sending out emails, you're going to be spending more time with. Uh, your clients or getting more clients in your business as well of course spending more time with your family so even though automation doesn't sound very glamorous and organizing your business system doesn't sound very glamorous it's very important to have it in your business so you can get things done quickly and save yourself time so in this series we have been talking about organizing your computer and business systems um, we did uh, started on email, which is about um, uh, communicating with your clients in your business. And then we're going to be talking about tracking your finances and automating or systematizing your marketing. And then automating your selling with maybe sales funnels. And we'll do some demos on that. As well as ways to track your client and, and what they're doing in your business and how to communicate with your client. A lot of that would be, of course, through email. So we're doing that <clears throat> section a bit early with the email systems. My offer right now is about automating your business in a week, a training at jgtips.com backslash automation, A-U-T-O-M-A-T-I-O-N, for those who don't know the name. Um, we talk about some of the ways to automate chores and organize your computer, how to set up an automated email system and op operating procedures binder quickly using templates. And I give you a lot of templates in order to secure your computer and secure your WordPress files as well as other systems in your business. So let's um, have a look at email. And of course, we need to go there. Boom. I'm organized, I promise. So business systems will allow you the time to grow your business by getting more clients because you have the time in order to do that, as well as, of course, spending more time with your family or friends while your business works for you so you can have a lifestyle business instead of being working in your business. So we've already mentioned that we are talking about organizing your computer and business systems and tracking your finances, automating or systematizing your marketing, automating your selling process and communicating with your subscribers and clients. So we've already talked about computer file organization and we talked about backup systems that you could use. We talked about the operating procedures binder and right now we're talking about email systems. We had a look at some of the email systems that you can use. And then we, for those who don't know anything about email autoresponders, we went over how a, a system can be made with an email autoresponder software where a person can get an email um, every two days automatically without you having to do anything once you set it up once. And then we talked about how you can um, have specific lists for specific activities. For this example, um, the people who loved avocado got the emails about avocados the people who got who liked oranges got emails about oranges uh, people who got uh, emails about apples and then it'd be another list for people who like uh, licorice i guess and then also of course you can send them a general email as well as a group so they can get uh, at least two emails from you so you can set up systems where you can actually have different lists for different interests, interests of your client. And now I also talked about how there is a what is called a follow-up series in email autoresponder systems where a person opt-ins for your email list. And then in that list, you can create a series of emails and decide what time they get it. Say, for example, two days later, two days later, two days later, or most people do one week, one week, one week later. And you get different emails, and depending on what you're um, in talking about, they can talk, um, they can find out about more information from you. 
And then there's also what is called a broadcast email in the auto email autoresponder system where you can send out a uh, broadcast email to all your lists. So it would be, uh, for example, your monthly newsletter with recipes that you could send out as a broadcast once to all your lists, including um, the various recipe people and the different uh, foods. And so they could get uh, different types of um, emails. So an email real autoresponder system can do quite a bit of um, communicating with your clients. And then we had a look at how you can also get clients to move um, from, well, they actually get added to a second list depending on what they're interested in. So, for example, the person who liked avocado, you send him, they said you send out a, a email to all your lists talking about this recipe for avocado. Then, of course, you might um, get him onto the recipe list for avocados. So that person would be on two lists and you could uh, appropriately um, email communications to them on avocados and then another one you could do um, recipes and as well of course they're on he's on the broadcast list so that person is on three lists and you can uh, appropriately change your communication with him depending on which list you're in so you could call that segmentation of list but you can do further segmentation as well So, for example, um, you want to find out who will buy from you. So you send out an email, which has a $7 book, um, to all your lists saying, you know, here's my book. And if uh, the person on the avocado list and the orange list decides to buy it, then great. Then what happens is they also get moved over to a buyer's list, which is, of course, our favorite list because we know these people will buy from us. So they will be on the avocado email list as well as on a buyer's list. And you can tag them, it's called. And we can, uh, I can show you the tagging in uh, Aweber. They have campaigns where you tag a person as a buyer and then they get moved to, either they get moved to a separate list, the money list, and they come off the avocado email list or you can keep them on both lists. But this is basically the money list. And then what you do on the money list is you send them emails um, with more offers uh, for them to buy as well as just regular information. So they're on a different list, but they, of course, don't know that. They just um, enjoy your list. So you can segment your list uh, into buyers and um, what they call freebie opt-in lists. Uh, usually that's where you get them first just with a freebie and then you develop a relationship with them and then they may buy something from you and then you can send them to a buyer's list and some people will take them off of the uh, freebie list and put them onto the buyer's list and just sell them there because of course a person doesn't want to get too many emails so they it depends on the type of company you have so um, segmentation of lists is a powerful way to find out who are your customers and then keep them on a buyer's list and sell more to them. So maybe next week we'll have a look in Aweber. They call it campaigns where you have um, different email lists and different um, uh, information and you can put it together where you send people from one list to another by tagging them. And that's what my little tag saying buyer means is they've been tagged with the tag buyer in the system so that they get moved to the buyers list. So I hope that wasn't too um, simple for you or too complicated for you. But basically an email will autoresponder system. All you have to do is create the emails at the beginning, knowing what you want to do with your uh, people, and then um create the email list and then of course go find the people who will come and be added to your list. So I'll just uh, talk to you again about um, automating your business in a week training uh, jgtips.com backslash automation. Um, this is all about how to automate some chores and organize your computer 
um, set up your email system and your operations procedures binder with templates. I'll also give you some email templates and how to uh, secure your computer cheat list, cheat, 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 list, cheat sheet <laughs> and WordPress cheat sheets to make everything secure and get you started quicker on automating your business into, with systems. So if you want to see the video of this current show, um, I'm starting to post them on my Jane, Jane Gardner, jane-gardner.com uh, posts. Uh, but you could try and catch um, jgtips.com backslash s Saturday, or more much easier, sorry, is to go to um, my YouTube channel at jgtips.com backslash YouTube, subscribe, and then you can will get the current uh, show as well as the next show. And of course, you can look at previous shows where we talked about things like your operation procedure binder or your organizing your computer. So thank you for listening. I know it's a fairly brief show, but I thought I would add that part about segmenting your list uh, in email autoresponder for um, freebie opt-in lists as well as buyers lists. Um, you can when you can move a person from one to the other, and how you can do that uh, in uh, various autoresponders. Um, next week, we'll probably look at um, some uh, in AWeb or how you can make campaigns where you can move people around on and move them to different lists. They're starting to all do that. Infusionsoft is a sort of an advanced way of doing that and needs lots of training, but AWeber has a simple way for you to do that. So thank you for listening. This is Jane Gardner at jane-gardner.com. And I will see you next Saturday. Thank you for listening. This has been Jane Gardner at Solopreneur Success Strategies. Please go and subscribe at jgtips.com backslash programs. And also to find out about other programs as well over at jgtips.com slash programs. And over there we have a free uh, mindset magazine for you to check out at jgtips.com backslash mindset offer. So welcome, thanks for listening, and I hope to see you again here tomorrow as this is a seven day a week show on mindset, your customer, getting your message out on social media and on your website talking about strategies, talking about business systems, talking about all kinds of things, including the skills that you need as a solopreneur. So please come back and subscribe at jgtips.com backslash programs. Thank you.